Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today I'm playing the Victor because I just wanted to play the Victor. That's it. So we have an Ultra AC20 in the right arm. We have uh, three SRM4 in the left shoulder. We got two medium laser. Alpha strike is 55. If you double tap, you have 75 and that's pretty good. Of course, the SRM spread the damage, the medium lasers and the Ultra AC20 are not really good in terms of converging, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun to play the Victor because it is an 80 ton assault mech, it is very mobile, it has jump jets, it has a targeting computer, it is okay in terms of heat management. It is it is just a very balanced mech. Now, it's not the best in terms of hitboxes, it is very big and huge and the side horses pop very easily, but it is a Victor. And um, I'm having a lot of fun with the Victor. Skill builds look like that. Uh, we have a lot of uh, stuff invested into firepower, mainly velocity, cooldown, heat management and of course the ultra auto cannon nodes and the magazine capacity. Not so much the missiles because we got 3 tons for 3 SRM4, that is my rule of thumb, that is good. But we only run 4 tons of ammo for the ultra AC20 and therefore I wanted to have magazine capacity. I want to have armor because the Victor has armor quirks and amplifying them with skills is good. We got a little bit of torso mobility here because uh, again the hitboxes are not that great and you want to splash the incoming damage with a little bit of torso twist and uh, upper torso mobility. Therefore I went for torso yaw, for torso speed, for kinetic burst and heartbreak and anchor turn so to, to bump up the mobility a little bit more. Uh, I'm running 60% or not 60% 6% of cool run. I have 60% of rated deprivation and that is the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the games that are coming and if you have that as always don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to the battle. Field. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Escort on the Crimson Strait, and I'm very much looking forward for this year, just because it feels like coming back to an old love, and uh, she's still sexy. <laughs> this is so cool. The Victor was my first assault mech that I bought, I think. So if I remember correctly, it was. Uh, back then, I only played mediums and heavies. I mean, I, I still do, and um, it basically plays like a heavy. It's a heavier heavy. It's not even an assault mech. It's an 80 tonner, so you can just boat everything in that. It has a reasonable balance though, so it is uh, good in terms of mobility, it has jump jets, it has uh, a decent firepower, it has good armor and the uh, hitboxes are... Uh, okay, so her hitboxes are okay, but they have been okay before, so you kind of put up with that already, right? So <laughs> you, you gotta figure it out, guys. The old, good old love never had great hitboxes, if you know what I mean. But it's fine, because uh, the character is what counts, right? And the Victor has a very good character. Let's see, um, VIP is going down the saddle path? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I just want to set up here and they are waiting for us. Yes, that's what they do. Um, I am. I think I could lead... Oh, are you going in there? <gasps> okay, that's a bit, bit too early, I think. Okay, gonna push that dire wolf back. It's a Lurm Warhawk, not a dire wolf. I think that's a bit too early, guys. A little bit too early. Again, I'm just pushing back that guy. And now it's time to draw with the Cyclops here. Um, changing targets because the Cyclops is out of sight. Um, now he's in again. Hello. Uh, we can destroy him. Just in. Can we? I'm not entirely sure. I forgot to override on top of that. Ooh, the brawl is on. That was again. I was not prepared for that, guys. I was 100% not prepared. Is he down? I guess so. All right, let's go back to heat vision. You should be. You should be afraid of me. All right, and I'm cooking myself. Uh, okay, so again, I was not prepared. Uh, I was bad. Let's twist out again. I want to get back to second line. <laughs> okay. Holy, ho holy, holy moly. Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. That, that was aggressive. Big time. Okay, we're cold again. We should brawl. Uh, I was out of range, sadly. Can we get an angle? There's a guy. Oh, wait, what? Really? That was him. <gasps> he came back from the dead. Okay, center toss a critical. Why exactly? Mm, is the critical announcement coming already when you are very damaged uh, in terms of armor? I don't know. So I'm gonna shield with my left arm, of course. Uh, 
Guys, we need to push that if you want to win. Black Widow is caught. Ooh. Oh, he shut down. <gasps> uh, crap, too late. Come out to play, man. Just peek. I know that you're here. There we go. Got a component destroyed. My mech is half done. So yeah, he's going for me. That's it. I still got my ultra with nine shells. Ah, guys. Ah, guys. Five and three. There he comes. Yeah, it's fine. It is absolutely fine. Um, That was okay, I guess. I did my job. And it wasn't clean. But I did it, guys. I mean, hmm. Let's see. Let's see how it goes down here. Again, hitboxes are not great, but it can punch, and that's cool. So, guys, push forward. The VIP is under attack in a second. We got six kills. They got four. We are in a good shape. Oh, my team is pushing forward already on the right side. No, laser kiwi. No. Why would you do that? Seven and five, though. Target acquired. Oh yeah, the Kodiak is not in the best shape anymore. And uh, we have some mechs in the back. Now that's interesting. Uh, wait, let me let me quickly check that. VIP is under attack from behind. Yeah, dude, you should turn around, Rifleman. Mm, okay, that works maybe. Hey, see that? There's a guy on the island. We have a Raven on the island or something like that. Did he shut down? <laughs> Just laying some fire to the island there. I like that. Okay, let's see. We've got some enemies coming over to the VIP here, which is uh, Griffin with a snub nose. Okay. Yeah, I think we did it. I think that's it, guys. It was super messy. That push there was coming out of nowhere, and I was like, okay, what should we do, guys? And uh, the only, the only right decision was to go with the flow, to push with the Atlas, to try to absorb a little bit of damage for him and for the team and deal some damage at the same time. And uh, I think it worked out here. Wow. So again, it was super messy. I couldn't really focus. <laughs> but sometimes, again, you just go with the flow and then you win the video game. That's the most important thing here. If you see a friend pushing, even, uh, I mean, uh, especially if it's an assault mech, then you have to go with him. Don't waste your assault mech's life on the front. Just go with him. This is important. Don't just stay in the back and, and use his sacrifice to deal a little bit of damage. You need to push with him so that he, he uh, applies more pressure. If the enemy sees uh, a single mech coming to the front, it is easy to target him because everybody would agree on, okay, yeah, this, this is the one that we target, okay. You don't even have to communicate because everybody sees this one as a threat. If you run into the front with like four or five mechs, um, the, the enemy will split their fire, so there's a higher chance that they will do it. And um, that is what happened here. A lot of enemies fired at me, a lot of enemies fired at our Atlas, and it worked out in the end. So the last enemy is the Raven with the ER large lasers trying to snipe from the island. He is down though. Alright, I was scared for a second, but actually it was a good game because um, we did a bold move here. We didn't wait for our VIP to come in. No, we just pushed ahead of him and shielded him from the enemy and that was very good. Now, what did we do here? We got one killing blow, five assists, two kill most damage dealt, 681 damage and three components destroyed. That was the first round and we are going over to the next round right now. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing Incursion on the Tourmaline Desert. Hot, 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 hot. Now, uh, what I'm doing here is pro I'll probably leave out the medium lasers completely. Because um, the map is just too hot and my other weapons are better in terms of damage compared to their heat. And therefore I'm only using the Ultra Auto Cannon and the SRM4. So th that's the plan. I really hope that I can stick to it. Sometimes when there is an enemy just right in, in, in front of you that is cherry red in the center torso, then of course you will just amplify the damage with the mediums. But other than that, I think it's not a good idea on this map. So let's see what we can do here. We are building up a firing line. I hope that we have somebody who is getting the fuel cell. Uh, no, the Raven does not have a fuel cell. That's bad. I mean, it's not bad, bad from the Raven, maybe he couldn't get to it, but it's just it's just bad for us as a team because they have radar, they know where we are, and we don't have vision at all. So we have no idea where they are, where they're coming from, what they are doing. Okay. 
And uh, again, this is what we do now. We go with the Annihilator. So we just ball up our Assault Mags, we just ball up the armor and the firepower, and hopefully we can catch them at some point and just get a quick kill on one of them. That's the plan, yeah. Uh, I think they're coming from Echo 6, though. Fox 6, Echo 6. Um, that's what I assume. Yeah, see that? Uh, Echo 6, guys. Echo 6. Fox 6, Echo 6. Uh, are we pushing? Okay, guys, this seems to be a push. Please, everybody, follow up. We need everybody. So, let's see if we can do that. 600 meter, Highlander, uh, ATM-12, large gauze, uh, everything. <gasps> they have a lot of missiles. That's not good. We need to cross a lot of open terrain until we eventually reach the front line. Yeah, that's an issue. Okay, that was one shot to the ground. Building up a little bit of heat. Of course, that's never a good idea. But maybe we can. No, we cannot. Okay, we are going to shoot the... Ah, this is not good. The good thing is though that they are shooting me and my annihilator can apply pressure to the right now. So that's that's good news. Uh, getting shot by the missiles while not dealing any damage is not though. Okay, we can challenge him. Not a problem. Hey. Yeah, you 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 screwed up, man. Ah, let's screw it. Let's go. <laughs> oh come on, I need DPS! Can we destroy that guy? Hopefully. Kill him, please. I'm getting rained by missiles here. Can we destroy him? Just go in! Finish the job! Okay, we got it. Now, close to the missile boat. That's the plan. He shut down. Um, that's it. Ooh, alright. Turn back now, turn back. Uh, Echo 6, guys. Echo 6. This is important. Support the assault mix that are trying to hold the line there. And yeah, that was not good from my end. Uh, I missed my SRMs once that built up a lot of heat without dealing damage. Uh, I, I just stood there forever. I should have twisted that more. Um, but at the same time, I'm still in the game. And uh, we are trying to push that even jack now. Probably, yeah. Support coming in from the left. Come on. That didn't hit. Okay. Okay, let's watch this. It's Cougar running. The good thing is that uh, I can just hide in within my team now. Uh, I shouldn't shoot him anymore. Is there a guy on top? There's a guy behind us. Uh, I wouldn't rotate into that. Let's uh, push from Fox 6 into Echo 5. They're behind us. They're behind us, guys. This is what I expected. Uh, 4 and 4. My team is still rotating. Bad behavior, guys. Bad behavior. In this situation, um, in the middle of a fight, in the mid, in, in, in this timing here, it always happens that people are behind us then in Echo 5 and you don't pressure them in the back then. You then turn around, build up a firing line, await them and then counter push. Uh, also, this is a big issue. This guy there is going to screw me hard. I, the only thing that I can do now is go over here. Counter push. Counter push. I need to get close, super, super close. Because the cougar is very squishy, actually. The jams. Jams in the wrong time. Okay, go ahead and learn me. It's fine. Oh, you got lasers. Ah, oh, God. <sighs> that was unfortunate, guys. That was so unfortunate. But I think we got it. Yeah, I wish I, I could have done more here. Really. <coughs> Should be fine, though. Should be fine. John Fisherman, come on. You can do it. Yeah, you got him in the back now. Great kill. It's one enemy alive. Uh, I think it's a cougar, right? Yeah, there's a cougar with lerms. It's just lerms. Just get close. No need to be afraid. And uh, by the way, this is a misconception uh, some of the newer players have in mind. Clan LRMs deal damage at, um, at point blank range. Yes, but the damage will drop so significant that you can just underrun him. And uh, the damage that you will receive is neglectable. 100% neglectable. So um, just push clan LRMs as well as inner sea LRMs. And again, if you just face tank the enemy, you are in a good spot and they won't deal damage to you. But anyway, I did my part here. I got 642 damage out, five components destroyed, one killing blow, uh, three kills damage dealt, four assists. 
that was a good round and that's your daily dose for today that was the victor and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel and if you want to support me go down below to the description there is the link to my patreon page and i hope to see you on the battlefield everybody goodbye